right, it's a big fail. I've wasted all my grain. So uh, at the moment it's 51. I've got the probe down the oops down there, and I've got the recirculation going on here. I'm only dribbling it in at the moment, but you can alter it by letting the clip go. So, we'll just leave it dribbling in at the moment then. So I'm just going to bring it up to temperature. Right, it's a big fail. I've wasted all my grain. The temperature is all over the hockey. Let me show you. Where the probe is. That's not too bad. Look at that. 52. So don't try this at home lads. Because it's not working. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. I right, took the coil out of there, washed it all down, and thanks to Rob Day, plan B. So there's a coil in there now. Put water around it, and the idea is this time to circulate the beer through the coil. So it's a constant temperature that way. So cheers Rob, fingers crossed. It's a bit Heath Robinson at the moment, but I'm just testing to see if it's going to work. Right, the coil's inside, I've linked up the two pipes, so what I'm going to be doing is recirculating the wart. So I'll wait till the temperature reaches 65 in there. And then we'll get a whirl. And then I'll just check the temperature coming out the the spar jar and see what happens. I mean, God knows what the sprue's going to be like. I mean, I've, I've took it out and stirred it in, and it's going to be shit, really. It's recirculating, but it's spitting out a little bit. So I'm going to put a bit of tin foil, rest it on there to guide it over. Let's see what the temperature is. nearly 62 so I've got to ramp it up about 3 degrees so I shall ramp it up on there 3 degrees now and see what happens right the uh, tin falls over it from splashing I've whacked the temperature up to 69 built it up to 3 degrees so let's see what we, uh, we are on now So it's it's not bad at all, I don't think now. Let's try the back one. That looks good. And it's recirculating nice. And Quite clear in the in there, so uh, 
Normandy Northwood. I've got to tell you, Rob, I am really thrilled with this. The uh, the temperature's stopping dead on 65, and this is cl clicking in and out like a good one. And also, what I'm going to do is rack that up to 75 for the, uh, I forget what you call it, you know, at the end of the run thing. And then I can use that water that's in there for sparging. Ah, dead chuffed. I've got to tidy it up, of course, because it looks a bit bloody Heath Robinson. But I think it's a win. The wall looks nice and clear now, not too bad at all. Um, I've set the STC to 80 because I want to rise the temperature here for mashing out to 75. So where are we at the moment? It's, uh, it's going all right now as it happens I've, uh, on the rolling boil. Um, I used the same grain that I cocked up for a start so God knows what it'll be like but I'll be grudge wasting it and I'll drink the bugger any road up. So um, I've had a couple more suggestions and I really appreciate all you fellow Brewtuber Alps. Um, I've had a couple of suggestions from a couple of brew tubers. I'll have to put your links in there, won't I? Um, but uh, are saying you'd be best to insulate the uh, the old what's it, um, the boiler and that for when I'm doing a mash. Um, that's a good idea. I like the idea of that. But you know when it's boiling like this, I'm worried that it'll melt. It'll melt, so. but it's all in one, isn't it? So, uh, any suggestions on that? I'd appreciate it. But thanks again for all your help on on this project. I'm sure it will carry on and on and on and on and on and on. But yeah, I'm boiling it up at the moment, and uh, it, it it's looking pretty clear. Not very strong, I don't suppose, but we'll check it out when it's done. Thanks for watching the old fart, and I'll speak to you later. The next day. Going mad. Little tip in less than five minutes, I always put the uh, the cord, the STC, um, I don't know what they call it, the what's it, the testing thing, in the uh, in the in the water there. Well, it's not water. It's that uh, steriliser stuff. Um, Oh, for God's sake. Second brew, next day. Dead exciting. Anyway, thanks for watching the old fart, and uh, speak to you another day.